And joining us now is the Kansas Secretary of Agriculture, our friend Mike Beam, who hails from Jewel County. And the, this has been something we've been trying to work on for a long time, kind of that formal sit-in, if you will. We have to go back to KLA to find you. But, but uh, uh, Mike, thanks, thanks for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's always good to visit with you. All right, so let's talk about 2019, kind of the state of agriculture in Kansas. Uh, this is going to be one that there's going to be that little star there of, uh, of something that uh, we're going to kind of go back and, and learn a lot of lessons this year. Well, yes, and I, I have to say I heard within the, even the last few days that people started saying to themselves this winter even that I'll be glad when 2019 is over. So it's been rough and challenging. Uh, there's been some, some high points, but, uh, you know, weather-related challenges. Uh, and uh, But people in agriculture, you know, they're always looking for the next year because they know it's, it's a long-term business. And I think folks uh, had, you know, in some parts of the state had, had a good harvest. Uh, the, the cattle market's shown some strength here in the last few weeks, and people are maybe going towards closing out 2019 and a little bit more positive and anxious to get to 2020. I think that's it. Uh, uh, it was interesting as we kind of look back at some of the highlights of 2019 and in the spring, uh, Mother Nature just gave us a lot of gifts. We were mid-year in prime growing conditions. We were a full soil moisture profile, which was something we hadn't seen. I don't know, in my lifetime, we'd ever seen that. And so, yeah. but we ended up the year Kind of, as I told a lot of folks, Southwest Kansas is back to being Strout. Southwest Kansas. It's droughty, and I've even heard people in Central Kansas say we could sure use some moisture. But you're right; there was a time frame this spring where there wasn't a speck of drought on the the USDA drought monitor map, and it's it's been a long time since we could look at that and and uh, not see a drought somewhere. And grass, boy, the grass this year for the cattle. Tremendous. The Flint Hills were just tremendous this year. Oh, grass. We've grown a lot of grass. Uh, and, I've, and I've reminded folks that, you know, when we had some of those devastating wildfires uh, in the late winters, it's following a year like we've had this year. And fortunately, for those high winds of the last, you know, recent high winds, uh, we had a little bit of moisture in areas. But that's something we're going to have to be... Uh, on guard on all winter long is uh, if we get really dry conditions the fuel load is there and so we'll have to be cautious and be prepared. And one of the things that you bring as the secretary is you for many years led the effort in bringing the parties together when it comes to uh, some of our uh, seasonal burning and, and we continue to learn more and more about all that. Are you still somewhat involved in keeping the parties kind of all talking? I'm still kind of uh, <laughs> Scooting up to the table, you know, that's the Department of Health and Environment's mm, right. primary responsibility, but, um, you know, they've been very inclusive, uh, and you're right, it's, uh, you know, prescribed burning is, is, I think there's more and more acceptance every year, not just within agriculture, but from the community as a whole, mm -hmm. as to prescribed burning is a good thing, uh, and if it was probably utilized more, uh, in the west and in higher population centers of this country that the wildfires wouldn't be near as devastating. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have to keep on that, uh, acknowledging that you know, on certain days, certain time frames with the wind in the right or wrong direction, it, it can cause some air quality issues for highly, more highly populated right. areas. And we're going to, hopefully those will be minimal, but it'll always be a challenge. Sure. Mike Beam, the Kansas Secretary of Agriculture is joining us. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more in just a moment.